hoping I could avoid making this video. But I have to make this video. To understand this video, you need to know what this symbol means. It's on the freaking screen. Look at it. Okay, that thing right there is called a treble clef, okay? It's a treble clef in music. I know that, okay? The treble clef is also called the G clef. Way, 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 way back then, someone smarter than me made this symbol that is coming from the letter G. Yes, it came from the letter G. I know that. And we also call the treble clef the G clef because of that. And if you look closely, there is a G in there. I can see it. We can all see it. So in music, we call that the treble clef, which locates the G line which I knew, but this specific symbol is a treble cliff, okay? <gasps> Everything! Whoa, whoa, let's get you a juice box. Okay, now, when I was a kid, I always saw the treble cliff look like the capital cursive S, okay? And in my signature, it also is a capital S on Shaira Benitez. I have a capital S in the beginning. So because the treble clef looks like a capital cursive S to me, I started using the treble clef as a capital cursive S on everything and anything I write, even my signature. My signature, okay? Watch. with an S, okay? So, I got a tattoo with the word serene. Now, the way I had them make it was like this. There's a treble clef there, which I think is an S. So, serene, that's serene. Not Jereen. What? What does it say to you? <laughs> it's not Jereen. Okay, got it. One of my students uh, yesterday was like, wait, wouldn't that be Jereen then? Not Serene because the treble clef is technically the G clef. I don't care. It looks like a nest to me, so it's a nest. <coughs> Either way, they didn't misspell it. I told them to do that. I told them to put a treble clef as an S. It's serene. Serene. 